Hello, hello. Hi, Aries. How are you guys? I hope you guys are feeling blessed. I hope you guys are moving with good intentions. I hope you guys are always, always, always moving forward and up, darlings. We about to jump right into this tea for you. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, you are welcome into the room for a general Aries read. To my subscribers, welcome back, darlings. To those of you who are new to my channel, I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea. I keep it real, so I might get a little raw and reckless up in here. But my intention is to never hurt your feelings. So please take what's for you, what's not for you, you leave it behind. Do not apply pressure. Only take what resonates, darlings. Only take what resonates. We're going to start with whispers, with messages from the mermaids. We're going to do what's the tea. Where spirit goes, we will follow. Okay, here we go. Spirit. Ancestors, angel guides, picking up on the energy of our Aries. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What messages do we have for them today? We have hope and discernment. Hope. So for some of you, stay hopeful. Use good discernment. Okay. Um, things may not be as... You may not, you may feel like things are not where they should be. You may feel like there's something like some type of stuck energy. Um, the spirit is here to say to be hopeful. Okay, believe in yourself, believe in your higher power. Things are moving accordingly. Okay, darlings, let's see what's the tea for our Aries. Spirit, ancestors, angel guides, can we get three clear, concise messages for our Aries? I don't know why it looks so red. It's not red in here at all. Uh, scarcity tactics. Okay. So, you may be feeling like you don't have enough. Okay, you may be feeling like you don't have enough or like you don't know which way to go, what move to make. Oh, great. Let's see if I can stay over here. Uh, I think the sun is going down. That's why it looks so red. Um, scarcity tactics is not having enough or feeling like you don't have enough. Um, into you. Good chemistry. Great vibes. Positive. Stay positive, darling. Stay positive. Things will get better. Hope and positive is making me feel like you're on the right track. You may not believe that you're on the right track or you may feel like you didn't make the move when you should have. But um, it feels like you did what the best you could. Somebody just may be a shit. Okay. Um, you may feel like you're not giving enough to a situation. Person, place, or thing. Screenshot. Get evidence, proof, and facts. And on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. Which just made me feel like for some of you, there's someone trying to interfere in your relationship or trying to interfere in something that you're trying to uh, work out or grow or someone. Okay, they may be trying to just throw a wrench in a situation. Um, someone, you may have evidence against someone. That may be um, you may have evidence on somebody that think they got evidence on you okay you may know something about somebody that they are holding a grudge against you for so use good judgment okay darlings uh, for some of you you may receive a message 
We have the Three of Swords in reverse. You may receive a message. Can be a picture of someone that you have been seeing or someone you care about that you don't want to see. So, for some of you, someone may be getting thrown under the bus. It can be you, it can be them. Okay, with the Three of Swords coming out, um, the Three of Swords is someone trying to heal. Someone trying to heal from a heartbreak, from a disappointment. Uh, and the Three of Pentacles. Threes are definitely proud. We got two threes. The Three of Pentacles is someone trying to work something out. Someone may be trying to work with you. Someone may be trying to help you heal. Someone may be trying to help you feel better. Uh, it can be like, like a best friend. It feels like a friend. It could be friend, family, cousin. Um, some type of support. Somebody... Is trying to have your back. Let's see, let's see. So, with the sun, baby, this too shall pass. Okay, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. Um, this too shall pass, okay? The sun is the happiest card in the deck. The sun is um, having self-confidence in yourself, that you can have good judgment, that you can make good decisions for yourself and for an outcome. Oh, look at here, look at here. The lovers. In a situation in love. So there's an opportunity for a new possibility. Okay, for a new can be a new boo. It can be a new boo with the sun and the lovers. It can be a new boo. It can be something that you've been working on, finally coming together. The Seven of Pentacles, something that was being slow, something that you may not have realized has been growing, actually has been growing. It feels like you planted a seed somewhere along the line or you invested in something or someone and you it didn't happen fast, okay? It didn't happen fast and you may have started to lose hope okay uh with the seven of pentacles in reverse there's growth there is growth um someone may be frustrated and impatient about a situation and had to fall back or decided to fall back the four of wands is a soulmate connection the four of wands is my 11 11 card some type of soul ties. So it feels like you been, you may try to rush something that needed to you need to take your time. You need to take your time. You need to use good judgment. Okay? You need to take your time and use good judgment because you don't want to jump into a situation that's gonna cause you to be heartbroken again. Someone may need time to get themselves together. Maybe financially. Um, for some of you, there may be some type of work situation going on. There may be a third party situation going on with someone at work. Or you may be dealing with someone from work. Uh, someone may be reaching out to you, reaching, reaching out for you. Um, with the five of cups in reverse, 
It feels like you just need to be patient. It feels like you just need to be patient. The Five of Cups in reverse is hope accepting change. Okay, you need to be patient. You need to be patient with somebody because they're probably stuck. Someone is... It can be you, it can be them, but someone is stuck and frustrated about something that's not growing fast enough. The reason why something is not growing fast enough is because there's something, there's some type of blockage. Okay, there's some type of um, scattered energy, some type of hesitation, uh, lack of direction, lack of forward movement. We have a Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck, and a Five of Swords, and Justice. So it seems like someone may have been, they're trying to be logical. They're trying to be logical. They're trying to make it make sense. For some of you, you may think this person is playing mind games, but they're really just trying to wrap their head around how how are they going to make the next move or what is the next move or they may be too caught up in the outcome you may be trying to control the situation that needs to um unfold naturally with justice um someone needs to set something right at work Whatever this person's situation is, or whatever is happening with this person, or whatever stagnancy is holding them back, it has something to do with either their finances or something at work. Person, place, or thing. Out here you have Leo. You have Leo, you have Cancer. Um, Gemini. Feminine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone is trying to heal. They're not trying to go too fast. Okay. Um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So someone is definitely going through some type of setbacks. Or they feel like they're having some type of bad luck. Some of you may feel disappointed because this situation is not moving fast enough or not going the way you think it should be going. Um, but the message is that you need to go with the flow and not try to control the situation. Uh, use discernment, not try to control the situation, not trying to control a person. You cannot control a person you cannot try to change a person because it won't turn out in your favor the lovers someone has to make a decision there is a third party situation going on there is something you don't know about they this person may be bonded to someone that they have financial responsibilities with They may not be in a full blown out relationship commitment with this person, but they do have responsibilities with this person. Children, a home, business, contracts. They may not be divorced from this person yet. 
They may be separated, but not legally. And they have to make a decision, but they're not, they're not eager to make the decision. The hangman. This person is trying to be logical. This person is trying to cross their T's and dot their I's. Okay? They're not trying to move too fast. They don't want to end up heartbroken again. They're being cautious. Someone's being cautious. Yep. This person is into you. Y'all do have good chemistry. What's that? The five of pentacles. This person may have lost their job or risk losing some type of financial stability in their life if they make the wrong choices, if they make the wrong move. So somebody needs to be strategic. Someone needs to be strategic. It doesn't mean that they don't like you. It doesn't mean that they don't see a life or a future with you. They do. They do. They do. The two of swords in reverse. With the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. Um, they may be keeping it a secret or not speaking on it. Um, it really just feels like they need to, like I said, cross their T's and dot their I's. Okay, they cannot just jump in another situation until they figure out what's go what they're going to do about the situation that they have to probably complete or end. Okay, um, they're trying to see things through a different perspective, uh, but they may be going through a little bit of bad luck or some type of setbacks or judgment. Judgment with the devil on the bottom. Um, someone may be trying to this person is they need to make a decision. But the decision is not easy. It's not an easy decision. Whatever the decision is. That they have to make, they have to be strategic. They have to think about it. They have to think about it all the way out. It needs to make sense to them. For some of you, it can be you, it can be them. But it has to make sense. Okay? Before it can come all the way together. Before it can take off. Before it can, um, let's see, let's see. There has to be, there's, there's, there's some type of awakening. There's some type of um, understanding about a, three, a third party situation and heartbreak. Someone has to make a decision between two. A decision that is not easy. They want to make the right decision because they want it to work next time. Whatever the decision is, they want to be successful at it, okay? They've been working hard, um, something crumbled. For some of you, they may be actually going through the divorce, especially with the judgment and the justice, okay? Or they may be thinking about getting a divorce. Getting a divorce from someone that they may have been codependent on for a long time. This person cannot move forward until they, um, until they know it's the right thing to do. It's not that they don't like you. It's not that they don't see the, a future with you. It's just that they feel like they need to make the right choice. 
they need to make the right decision. Their next move has to be their best move. So, be hopeful, okay, that things will turn in your favor, whether they choose you or not. It will go in your favor. Like, if they don't choose you, it's because they're not for you. It doesn't mean that y'all don't have good vibes. It doesn't mean that y'all didn't get along. It doesn't mean none of that. It just means that for them, it wasn't the best choice that they could make. Because they do have soul ties, soul connections somewhere else. And they don't want to be heartbroken again. They don't want to be heartbroken again. They are going through some things that they wish they didn't have to drag you into. But that um, are affecting the way that the relationship is unfolding. So, we'll get you some advice. Some advice in love for our Aries. Aries, please hit that subscription button. Please don't be shy. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit off so that you can be notified. Thank you. I appreciate you guys so much for sending me the good vibes. Hitting the like button will be great. Send me a little comment. Talk to me nice. I read those. All help to get the reading circulating through the algorithm. Okay. All helps for Cinderella to get her shoe. Okay. Um, the channel has been growing. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you guys. Here we go. Can we get three advice and love for Aries? Can we get three for Aries? Can we get three spirit ancestors, angel guides? Clear, concise advice for Aries. Can we get two more? Difficult. Difficulties, jealousies from others may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection. See, babies, I am making this shit up. It is what it is. Okay, baby, I'm always bring you the tea. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Let's make it do what it do, Aries. Thank you. You send me good vibes, I send you back blessings. May they multiply. Yes, in every single way that you need them to. Okay, stay hopeful, have discernment, understand that if something doesn't go your way, it's because it's not meant for you at the moment. Unbreakable love. What's for you is always going to be for you. No one is going to be able to break it. Okay, so if this situation is for you, it will turn out in your favor. Okay, if someone is sending you messages and screenshots and trying to come between you and this person is out of jealousy. Unbreakable love. This person has genuine love for you. You can overcome any issues that may arise. Yeah, it does feel that way. Into you. Good chemistry. Great vibes. Positive. They are into you. That's not a question that they're into you or not. They are into you. They are thinking of you, of a future with you. You are part of their plan, but they have to be logical. They have to make sure that they close out cycles or whatever it is that they have to do to make sure that as they move forward, they won't create uh, a situation where they'll end up heartbroken again. Uh, be optimistic. Keep in mind that you create your reality. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. Okay, darlings. And on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is keep the door open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which open, which open for you. Okay, keep an open heart, baby. Keep an open mind. You may feel like it's not going nowhere. You may feel like it's not what you 
where you want to be at or or it's not moving fast enough for you but there's reasons for that okay there's reasons they may be unknown to you with that uh high priestess that came out earlier they may be unknown to you but someone is working behind the scenes to make sure that if they do move forward with you that they will be able to move forward with you honestly Okay, that um, someone can't come in between you guys out of jealousy or out of bitterness or anything like that. Okay, so I can respect that. Let's get three messages from the universe. Advice from the universe for our Aries. Can we get three? Spirit ancestors, angel guides, can we get three? Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe in and let it go. Can we get two more for our Aries? Two more for our Aries. <laughs> it is getting hot. I can't turn on the AC because it's like right in front of there. That's all you would hear probably if I had it on. But I should have turned the fan, but it's on the other side of the room, so... Let's see. I think something flipped over. Let's check. Nope. Spirit, ancestors, angel guides, clear, concise messages, advice for our Aries. Can we get two? Remember that you can't change anyone but yourself. Yes, I felt that. You can't change them. You can't make them go faster. Creating some type of um, ultimatum for someone will cause them to run in the other direction. This person already been through some things. They're trying to figure it out. And they don't need extra pressure. Uh, let your feelings out. All of them. Even the ones that scare you. Listen to your body and do what it is asking of you. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is live your life with both feet in. Commit fully to being there. To being here. My bad, my bad. So, we'll get you a message. We'll get you a message from the Zodiac. What they may be feeling, what they may be thinking. Hold on, I gotta turn this fan. Okay, so... We'll do the zodiac. We'll start with the water signs. We'll start with Pisces. What they may be thinking, what they may be feeling towards our Aries. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, picking up on the energy of our Aries. Aries, please don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Hit all so that you can be notified. Please hit that thumbs up button. Let's help each other help each other by interacting. Get the messages across. Thank you so much. Here we go. Starting with Pisces. What they may be thinking. What they may be feeling towards our Aries. Can we get one? <clears throat> I never thought it would hurt that much. Cancer for Aries. Cancer for Aries. Can we get one? Love message. Whoa. Half of the shit done fell out my hand. Oh, Lord. Mercy. They keep falling. I can't help but feel drawn to you. It doesn't make sense. Oh, my goodness. Half of the shit fell. I'm trying to drop it like it's hot, baby. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> okay uh, Scorpio Scorpio for Aries let me just give it a little shuffle since they all hit the floor uh, Scorpio what they may be feeling what they may be thinking towards Aries spirit ancestors would you hear me out if I would try to explain myself Air Gemini for Aries Gemini for Aries. Can we get one? 
these cars are just flying all over the place. They got a lot of things that they thinking and feeling. I make excuses because I don't want to love again. Gemini. Someone has been hurt. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's a Gemini. I'm just saying somebody don't want to be hurt again. That came up in the reading. So, Libra. Libra for Aries. Libra. I cannot choose you. It is all too much. I am sorry. Aquarius. For Aries. Aquarius. What they may be thinking. What they may be feeling. I am protecting you from myself. For some of you. You may actually be dealing with an air sign. Okay. Um, Earth. Capricorn. For Aries, what they may be thinking, what they may be feeling. Capricorn for Aries, can we get one? I don't know what to do anymore. Yet I know what to do. Somebody confused. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. Yet I know what to do. Okie dokie, we're moving on. Taurus for Aries. Taurus for Aries. Can we get one? Taurus. Channel love message for Aries. There are things inside of me that I am too afraid to show you. And Virgo. Virgo for Aries. Can we get one? Virgo for Aries. Can we work this out? And my feelings don't make sense to me. Fire. Sagittarius. Sagittarius for Aries. Can we get one channel love message from Sagittarius to Aries? What they may be feeling, what they may be thinking. I don't want you to hold on to me. Please don't wait for me. And Leo. Leo for Aries, can we get one? Leo for Aries, channel love message. What they may be feeling, what they may be thinking. I have secrets you would not like. And Aries, Aries for Aries, can we get one? Aries for Aries, channel love message for Aries. What they may be thinking, what they may be feeling. I am at war with my inner demons. Please stay away for now. This battlefield is not the right place for you. Woof. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.